Something that can make droughts worse, how much more water we're using. Mitch Weber shows us a couple of easy solutions, no matter which side of the debate you are on on this. Yeah, Chris, so green lawns like this, they aren't cheap. From fertilizer, weed killers, to lots and lots of water. But not watering as often and replacing some of this grass can actually help your wallet and the environment. Climate change is really a political conversation in this country. And here Dennis Patton things. tries not to choose sides. He's with the Johnson County K-State Research and Extension. He sees the signs of climate change every spring. Something's happening out there. Patton believes the solution to the extreme weather conditions can start with our lawns. So we don't have to mow as much. So maybe we start cutting back on watering. We cut back on fertilization. That can get expensive. At Family Tree Nursery in Liberty, Travis Morcha shows customers all the time what to plant to cut down on their water bill. This is one of my personal favorites. You can plant lantana and not worry about watering every day. We've got a lot of different colors to them. What I really like about these is these are one of the absolute best plants for a really hot, dry area. You can pair it up with vinca in the ground or in a hanging basket. Love the sun, love it to be dry. They don't mind, like I said, missing a couple of waterings on them. It's not going to kill them. Another drought-tolerant plant might be a familiar one, purslane. And these are ones that everybody's grandmother used to have. Okay. Typically with these during this time of the year, you're really only going to need to water them once or twice a week. Another thing Patton points out, there is no such thing as a normal growing season anymore. Deep down, it's something's going on out here, and it's bigger than just me or you, and we've got to figure out how to handle it. Patton also recommends if you are in the market for a new mower or even trimmer, try and buy electric. Also, use less fertilizer and plant more trees. And what might be the hardest is to tolerate imperfections in our lawns like this. I know it's hard to do. Just let it go. If you're, if you're like me, it's easier said than done. And, of course, we have more tips on our website, KSHB.com. Reporting live in Kansas City, Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.